Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Brent and I'm excited to let you guys know that I am creating a new tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So if you watched my last tutorial on how to create the game uh, Flappy Birds, then you learned a lot of the basics of game design. So in this tutorial, we're going to expand on that and really be focusing on some of the things that LibGDX actually exposes to us uh, to make our game design a little bit easier. So in this series, we're going to be talking about uh, game screens and the game class. We're also going to be talking about sprite and sprite sheet classes, um, new ways to do animation, uh, texture maps to create our game worlds, uh, new ways to do collision detection because we're also going to be colliding with enemies and different kinds of blocks and stuff like that on a huge game world. So we don't want to check every object in the game world for collision. Uh, we're going to be talking about... Um, a variety of other different things that I can't really mention all here, but if you're interested in this kind of stuff, go ahead and stick with me in this series. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too. Uh, these first few videos, we're going to kind of rush a little bit through the uh, little uh, menial things like uh, setting up and installing LoveGDX on Android Studio and stuff like that. Um, but if you're in, interested in a more in-depth uh, tutorials, check out my first few videos of uh, my Flappy Bird tutorial and that will pretty much explain everything that I'm kind of rushing through here in more depth. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download LoveGDX. Okay, so now open up that file and you'll have the project set up here. We're going to name our project Mario Bros. Um, the package will be com dot for me, Brent Arelli, and then Mario Bros. And then the game class will be Mario Bros. And the destination, I've set up a folder already. Um, and my Google Drive dev and it is going to be Mario Bros here. So we'll open that up. And then the uh, path to the Android SDK, you'll have to find that on your computer. Mine is located here on my Mac, Brent Arelli. And then we're going to just uh, do sub projects as desktop and Android. That's what we'll be using in this tutorial series. Um, and then the extensions, we'll go ahead and keep Box2D checked and we'll click generate. If it says you have a more recent version, I'll just go ahead and click yes. And a more recent API, I'll just click yes. Um, and yeah, we want to override. Go ahead and let all those files install. So now that the project is open, let's go ahead and set up our desktop configuration so we can test our game on the desktop here. So we're going to click this little Android button and click Android uh, configuration. Uh, we're going to create a click on this little plus sign here first and then create an application. We're going to call this application desktop. The main class for this will be the desktop launcher here. Um, the working directory is where we're going to get all of our assets from and that is going to be the Android assets folder. We're going to choose that. Um, the module here will be desktop and then we can go ahead and hit apply and OK. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this run button here. Uh, the first time uh, you run it, it may have to compile uh, a few scripts and stuff like that. So it could take a little bit longer. And there we go. We got our first uh, little game. This is uh, the start of Mario Brothers. So we're going to cut it there for this video. I know it was a little bit short, but like I said, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more in depth, check out my previous Flappy Birds tutorial series. The first video on that should give you a little more explanation as to what just happened. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Um, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. Of course, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, and please share it if you're interested. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.